Good morning everyone. So I've decided I'm going to do another range test and this one's going to be a range test with a difference. I don't think I've seen this one being done on YouTube before. But basically um, I've charged the car to 100%. I'll show you the figures in a minute. So it's charged to 100% and I'm just going to run it down as close to zero as I dare and let's see how many miles that this model Y Performance 2024 version actually does. So I will be sticking to speed limits, um, but I'll just be doing normal driving wherever I go, whatever the whatever the next few days bring me, and I'll break it down and give you updates as I go along. So let's see what this 2024 Model Y Performance, let's just see actually in the real world, how many miles to the tank, using the old ice analogy, how many miles to the tank does this car do just driving day to day normal driving hi everybody just thought i would drop a quick update out because the efficiency of this car this model y performance is unreal um i've been doing various different speeds sticking to the speed limits as i said i'm on the motorway now uh, around the m25 going to the famous surrey hills where I'm about to start a weekend hike, but I'm looking at the efficiency of this. And if you can see, I've done 42 miles so far, 10 kilowatts I've used. I'm doing 243 um, watts per mile. I mean, that's just outstanding efficiency for a performance model. So I'll keep you updated. Um, speak to you soon. Right, I've just pulled into a service station to get a coffee. So, so far I've done 71 miles, I've used 17 kilowatts and I'm averaging 235 watts per mile. That is such good efficiency. Um, I'm really surprised at how efficient this Model Y performance is. So, I'm on track to do, I reckon, 310 mile range, but there's still plenty more time to come on this journey from 100% down to zero. I'll give you an update at the end of the day and we'll see how she's done. Speak to you all soon. Hi everybody, so I've come to the end of the day today after a, a really tough, hot day walking in the Surrey Hills. Been so enjoyable. Um, just getting some camping stuff now that we've forgot. Uh, so I've just dropped my mate off who's basically getting a few bits and pieces where we're now going to meet down a local pub for the evening and just chill next to this campsite and uh, yeah just have a couple of beers and relax ready for the next phase of the the hiking challenge tomorrow so I thought I'd drop the last update out for the journey so far so all in all I'm really astounded at how this car performs now I've been really honest with how I've driven. So I've told you from the off, uh, I'm not going to break speed limits. Um, you know, I've been in 20 zones, 30 zones, 40 zones, 50 zones and 70 zones throughout the mileage I'm about to show you. Um, and I haven't accelerated dramatically. I've just, you know, if I've stopped in traffic, I've eased the acceleration. If I've stopped traffic lights, again, just ease the acceleration. I've never at any point um, put pressure on the acceleration because that does drain power. So I've just done normal everyday driving what the average person would do just to try and get a true reflection. So here we go with some numbers. Right, okay, so I've done 141 miles since the 100% charge with 33 kilowatts used with a range of 236, sorry, with... 236 kilowatts per mile so far i've done 6.99 on the odometer right i'll just quickly show you the graph so there's the graph um for some reason i've got two peaks one because if you look at the start the, the base where the hard line is i've relatively stayed under the hard line with apart from a few little bits of pieces i've got one big peak which i can't remember what that was about but then on the opposite end, I'm, uh, I've got a big trough as well. The only thing I can, I can think of is going up and down hills. Um, that's the only thing that would possibly explain that. Uh, 
so yeah so that's how we are please like and subscribe as i said to you this isn't going to be all done in a day it's going to be done over a few days until i get the car to zero so please follow me let's see um how i get on throughout the journey and um yeah it's going to be interesting as to actually how far this model y performance will do on day-to-day -day driving speak to you soon